For more than 100 years, Cook County's Transportation and Highways Department has played a pivotal role in building the roads and bridges that connect Cook County. Today, Cook County and the Department of Transportation and Highways aims to be a regional transportation leader that connects workers to jobs, shippers to customers, and residents to where they need to go. In 2016, Cook County launched a long-range transportation plan for the first time since the 1940s. The plan was called Connecting Cook County, and what was unique to this plan, like it was back in the 40s, is that this plan didn't focus on specific list of projects, which is the way the transportation industry does today, look at the assets when they come to the end of their useful life. This plan was going to be different, and the way this plan focused was on policy priorities. And so we laid out five policy priorities that focused on community and economic development as being the driving impetus of transportation investments. We took on a number of projects in Southern Cook, some of them that are completed today, and what we saw is that a number of businesses along those corridors have made commitments to expand some of their businesses and look to do some of the hiring that have brought a lot of success to that area. In the south suburbs, as we said, there's just been a, uh, a great opportunity to look at where disinvestment um, has left a number of the infrastructure to the point where uh, leadership is required. And so under our long-range transportation plan, we've been able to identify corridors where we know that infrastructure investments is going to drive economic development, economic revitalization, and where we've seen some of that take place with the projects that have been completed in the last couple years, we really find that rebuilding a road to today's design standards will allow more trucks to be able to access it in a, you know, final last mile destination. In Harvey, Cook County and LB Steel work together to rehabilitate the roadway to ensure LB Steel's products and materials could get to their customers. We had, we had a big issue with 156th Street in Harvey that now they stretch from uh, Halsted Street to um, uh, Lathrop. And uh, the road was so bad, we had some truck lines that wouldn't even come in here. Um, the, we had some issues where, the, uh, where a truck would actually hit a large hole and dump its load. The road was very, very rough, and um, so Cook County came out and teamed up with us, and uh, we s uh, mutually saw uh, a real need for this in order for us to maintain and grow our business. Uh, we're just very happy with the uh, end result. Nearby in Harvey, Cook County rebuilt Center Street between 159th and 171st Streets to get queuing trucks out of traffic and safely into the CN Gateway Terminal. In addition, Cook County secured grant funding and contributed motor fuel tax funds to help the municipality rehabilitate 167th Street, which is used by trucks but had crater-sized potholes which made it impassable by 2014. So the opportunity with our long-range plan to look at the south suburbs really hinges on the importance of um, building relationships. And we've been able to, under the president's leadership, meet with a number of mayors and managers that have welcomed us to be able to step into that leadership role. Um, they've welcomed us to look at some of the ways um, innovatively that we can make some of these transportation investments, take on some of the engineering challenges. And what we've also found is the business community has been very inviting. In Phoenix, a south suburban village, Cook County, village officials, and a local business partner to keep jobs and industry in Cook County. There are, there are quite a few projects that, uh, that Cook County has been uh, supportive of. I guess we go back about six years ago, uh, we had a factory in our community that, that closed, and uh, which would have devastated our community. And, and then uh, Sterling Lumber uh, showed up and, and said we're interested. But the other piece was, transportation. Um, the, uh, the facility, uh, the road needed, needed improvement. There's no way that the trucks could have come down that road uh, in that condition that it was in. And then Cook County government showed up. And so it was a great partnership. Now here was a company that was looking at going somewhere else. They could have easily gone to Indiana, they could have gone to Will County, they could have gone anywhere. But with the help of county government, they stayed here. And that transportation piece was the, was the, was the, the cherry on top. We're very, very pleased with uh, the help that the county has given us. And without the help of county government, I don't know how this community would have been able to, to keep up our infrastructure needs. 
So we're really optimistic of the future. Um, there is going to be um, a uh, sustainable revenue source that's going to bring additional resources. Uh, we've proven that with a long-range plan that we have a way of going about making strategic investments that once again focus on economic and community development so that when it comes to a public that sometimes doesn't have a lot of faith in government, by having a plan, um, by having projects that have been identified and built, and by showing how economically the jump-starting of some of the econ these local economies, along with bringing some community benefits, have made these municipalities a better place to live. We think with that proven formula, the sustainable revenue sources that we believe will be coming are going to be able to allow us to continue to expand this throughout the county, throughout the region, and the state.